all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the world in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop it will be the first world collector well, let's go down to the news proper as it is hot you don't share uh, the information will be say it did for my table. We say he gets some umwa for Biafra. Umwa for Biafra. Umwa for Biafra. Uh, I know why I'm using umwa for uh, Biafra uh, so that those who will understand uh, will be able to understand uh, who we are caught on um, Yana about drug trafficking. Um, the reason why I'm saying it like this is that uh, Emma, our uh, people say that uh, uh, onya pola sibu agwo, uh, asino eke kubu, what I go something like that. Now, meanwhile, let's go down to the full detail uh, of the information. I see they be they say two drug kingpins or ezu ke Christian and Abo. Prince have been sentenced to life imprisonment by the Federal High Court in Abuja for their years of criminal enterprise of exporting cocaine across continents. The Director of Media and Advocacy, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Femi Baba Femi, announced this in a statement on Sunday. He stated that Uwezoke was initially arrested in 2022 for ingesting cocaine wraps and was later caught again trying to smuggle drugs to India. Meanwhile, Abu was arrested at Abuja Airport for attempting to export cocaine to Hong Kong. The statement partly read, For three years old businessman Uwezoke, his journey to a lifetime in jail began when he was first arrested by the NDELA operatives on March 19, 2022, at the Namdi Aziki International Airport, Abuja, during the inward clearance of Ethiopian airline flight from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, after he was found to have ingested 100 big wraps of cocaine weighing 2.240 kilograms. He was subsequently arranged at Federal High Court Abuja Division in, in charge number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 438 slash 2022 and was granted bail on certain conditions after he pleaded not guilty. He thereafter absconded, leading the court to revoke his bail and issue an arrest warrant against him. Papa Femi added that Uwezoke was arrested again in August 2023 when he attempted to export 1.822 kilograms of cocaine to India after a different, under a different identity, Ilonze Kenesle Onyebuchi, at the Motala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. Following his arrest, he was promptly arraigned before Justice Nicholas Onibo of the Federal High Court in Abuja, in Lagos, where he pleaded guilty to the charges. He was convicted and sentenced to seven years' imprisonment or a fine of $1.5 million, which he paid before being transferred to Abuja faced, to face the importation case pending against him. He was rearranged on March 20, 2024. At the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court in charge number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 438 slash 2022 before Justice Joy Obweni Abdullah Mike, where he pleaded guilty again despite his plea, the court, noting his lack of remorse, the seriousness of drug related offense, and the fact that he is a repeated offender, convicted and sentenced him to life imprisonment, the statement added. 42 years old Agbo Chika Prince, on the other hand, was arrested at the Nande Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, during the outward clearance of Ethiopian Airlines flight to Hong Kong on October 20, 20, on 21, 2023, for ingesting 49 wraps of cocaine weighing 99.73 grams. 
upon his arrangement before Justice Joyce Ohei Abdullah Like of the Federal High Court Abuja Division, the defendant pleaded guilty to the one count charge where he was convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment on April 15, 2024. On February, news reported in February that the NDLA chairman retired Brigadier General Abu Mawa revealed that at least 15 drug campaigns out of that 3,412 drug offenders that were successfully prosecuted by the anti-narcotics agency and convicted in 2023 collectively backed 168 years imprisonment. <laughs> oh, say Tiela, my people. Um, I imagine you know, a person where they give 158 years imprisonment. Uh, <laughs> it means that uh, that person and his ghost, even if his generation, uh, has been uh, sentenced to prison because. Uh, coming out to now, it is going to be very hard because I hope to them since in Nejimu Kwanum for this world, uh, anybody that has lived up to uh, 168 years as it be. Uh, when I do my people, uh, my people, uh, Umu Biafra, Ekelela Munu, Ia, Ekelela Munu, Ia, Ekelela Munu, Ia, Leno, Ia, Wano, Ia. Uh, when I say one more is required, uh, 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 I mean, why, uh, why I they bring about this talk? We we'll say a concern on one for Biafra on drug related offense and issues is because, hmm, um, I snow one non like if an em, if an em, what I go something like that. Uh, I see the be for this matter. Uh, you know that I'm it's not that it is only Umu Biafra that are in this business. But one thing you should know is that uh, whenever these people uh, get in touch with any name that has to do uh, with Biafra or Ndibo, uh, you find that they like to uh, exaggerate the issue, bring it to the media, and make sure that the image of Ndibo, Ndi Biafra, and the person in particular is tarnished. I'm not saying that drug, drug trafficking. Uh, it's a good business. It's a bad one for that matter because that thing destroys the life of people. Uh, even though uh, those who are into Lego business, who are using it for drug purposes, and the rest of them, Anastasia, and the rest of them uh, who are legalized by the government, uh, that one is on a different issue. But this one, we say Nahiu, and um, it is somehow what is called um, black market, as it be. But my issue is that Olukwaralu uh, Kendibo of your Fiatuba. I see they be they say at least forty two people don't buy at Malu landside though. They say aftermath of flooding at Kamuchiri village in Maimachu Kuru County on April 29th, 2024, at least forty bodies were collected from various places after heavy flash flood wiped out several homes. In Kamuchiri village, Maimachu, in Karu County, following heavy rains. They say Naivasha police commander Stephen Kirui confirmed they had collected at least 40 bodies from debris on Monday. Officials at the mortuary said they had received 42 bodies. Rescue teams said five vehicles were trapped in the mud, but bodies had been retrieved. We expect the number to go up as the search. And rescue goes on, said an official on the ground. Many other people are missing after the incident on Sunday night. More than hundred, more than hundred people were rushed to hospital following the tragedy. They say domestic animal were also killed in the incident. Officials say rescue mission were being hampered by the slopeness of area where the water raged through. The flood waters originated from a nearby river that broke its bank on Sunday night, according to Kenya Red Cross. Several people have been taken to health facility in Maimayu due to flash flood affecting Kamuchiri village in Kenya. Uh, for NIG here, uh, for this side, everybody they cry. For Biafra land, people they cry, say, um, heat don't keep people, rain no one follow. This one do ay ay ay, but in another country, uh, this rain don't fall. 
for plenty to the extent say uh, the thing the uh, carry people's house and a lot of people has lost their life in this particular incident and this is what is called uh, natural disaster we are natural disaster as you can see this is a big natural disaster and um, it is not funny uh, for the people who are living around that um, environment I say may the soul of the lost rest in peace in the name of almighty God Chukokabiyama in the name of Jesus Christ Amen 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 Meanwhile, here I go to wind down the question and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel can go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to hit the notification button so that whenever our news drop you'll be the first we'll collect them thank you for listening god bless you